Some people dream about encountering whales, giants of the ocean up close. The thought alone is enough to quicken your heartbeat. Now let's say you're out there, in the vast blue, surrounded by nothing but water and these magnificent creatures. As one glides gracefully past, suddenly everything goes pitch black. You find yourself trapped, not in the water, but inside a whale. Panic sets in as you move from side to side. What happens next? Can you survive such an encounter? Today, we'll go into the unexpected and somewhat scary scenario of being swallowed by a whale. The reality of being swallowed. Many believe that if a whale ever swallowed you, you'd be gone for good, and they have reasons to think so. Yet, surviving such an event isn't entirely out of the question. Just look at Rainer Schimpf's story from 2007. While snapping photos off the coast of South Africa, he found himself inside a whale's mouth. He held his breath and luckily, the whale spat him out shortly after. But what if the whale didn't let you go so quickly? Avoiding harm from a whale's teeth might be your first challenge. And if you made it past that, you'd still have to deal with the strong acids in the whale's four stomachs. Timing your escape would be crucial. Now you might think big whales like the blue whale are the ones to worry about. It's true, their mouths are huge, big enough to hold many people, but the baleen plates in their mouths stop anything large from getting swallowed. Plus, a blue whale's throat is only about 25 centimeters, 10 inches wide, too narrow for a person. Sperm whales, however, could swallow a human whole. So, how can we avoid being their next meal? First, preserve oxygen. Staying calm is super important. Even though it sounds tough, freaking out won't help. Worrying too much will use up the limited oxygen in the mouth of the whale. You've got to trust your gut feelings here. When you're inside a whale's mouth, it's going to be super dark. But try to feel around with your hands. If you can grab onto something, you might stop yourself from going further down into the whale's stomach. There are four of them, and you don't want to end up there. You might think about trying to hold on to the inside of the whale's throat, but that's going to be slippery because of all the slimy stuff covering it. It's not going to be easy, but finding something to hold on to could be your best shot at not getting swallowed. Secondly, wearing a special suit. This could make a big difference if you're swimming with whales. Don't go near the large water bodies without your protective gear. Some might think it's too much, but it's better to be safe. You'd need a suit that can handle strong acids, like the kind in a whale's stomach, if peradventure you find yourself in it. A neoprene wetsuit might just be the right choice. It's a kind of suit that can hold up in tough conditions, maybe even inside a whale. You'd also need a way to breathe because there's no air inside a whale's stomach. So, adding a breathing tube and something to hold enough oxygen is a must. This setup could give you a chance to survive if you end up in a whale's stomach. It's all about being prepared for the unexpected, even if it seems a bit out there to others. Thirdly, stay calm and fold up. When you're faced with the unbelievable situation of being in a whale's mouth, your first move should be to curl up as small as you can. Pull your arms and legs close to your body and tuck your head down. Making yourself into the smallest ball possible is key. This helps you take up less space and might lower the risk of getting hurt by the whale's teeth. Sperm whales have lots of big teeth, about 18 to 26 on each side of their mouth. And each tooth is pretty heavy, around 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Even all curled up, avoiding injury would be tough. There's still a big risk you could get hurt, maybe even lose an arm or leg. But being in a tight ball gives you a bit more of a chance to stay whole. Next, you have to be patient. Hanging in there and waiting to be spit out could be your best bet. There's a chance it might work for you. You might be spat out right away, but if you're already inside, it's going to be a bit trickier and not pleasant. Here's a bit of good news though. Sperm whales often need to vomit every few hours. If you can last that long, you might get thrown up too. But don't start celebrating. Making it through this depends a lot on where you end up getting spit out. Whales can dive deep, like 100 meters, around 3,290 feet deep. But people? We can only go about 20 meters, roughly 65 feet, deep without any help. So if the whale decides to let you out in the deep blue, your chances might actually be better off staying inside for a bit longer. 
It's a strange situation for sure, but sometimes the safest place could be right where you are. Lastly, stay away from harm. The simplest way to dodge the ordeal of being swallowed by a whale is to keep your distance from sperm whales, the only ones capable of gulping down a human. It's straightforward advice but worth mentioning. If you do end up in the mouth of another whale type, like a humpback, your odds of getting out unscathed are much higher. Humpback whales, for example, zoom towards their food with their mouths wide open. If something big, like a human, ends up in there by accident, they usually push it out with their tongue. By now, you've probably realized that surviving inside a whale is a long shot. However, the good news is whales aren't out to get us. They're not much interested in humans. So, if you're worried about creatures in the ocean, sharks might be a more realistic concern. Now let's look at some real-life situations where people have been swallowed by these beasts. Michael Packard's Ordeal On a Friday morning just before 8 a.m., Michael Packard, a seasoned lobster diver, plunged into the ocean for his day's second dive. He was near Herring Cove Beach, amidst others fishing for striped bass. With the water at a pleasant 60 degrees and clear visibility extending 20 feet, Packard was in his element, diving to collect lobsters from the ocean floor. As he descended, surrounded by the marine life of sand lances and stripers, Packard was about to experience an extraordinary event. Just 10 feet from the bottom, he felt a massive force, and everything around him turned pitch black. All of a sudden, I felt this huge shove, and the next thing I knew it was completely black, Packard recounted, still in disbelief from the ordeal. In a moment that seemed straight out of a biblical tale, Packard found himself engulfed by a humpback whale. Inside the whale's mouth, he felt the muscular contractions as it moved. Initially, Packard feared he was inside a great white shark, but the absence of teeth and immediate injuries led him to a realization that he had been swallowed by a whale. Trapped in darkness, Packard's thoughts turned to despair. I was completely inside. It was completely black. I thought to myself, there's no way I'm getting out of here. I'm done. I'm dead. All I could think of was my boys. They're 12 and 15 years old, he shared. However, Packard's struggle seemed to discomfort the whale, which began shaking its head. After what Packard estimated to be 30 to 40 seconds, a glimmer of light appeared as the whale surfaced and forcefully expelled him back into the ocean. Packard's miraculous return was witnessed by his crewman, Josiah Mayo, who initially mistook the upheaval for a great white shark. The sight of the whale releasing Packard was a relief and a shock. Quickly, Mayo retrieved Packard and rushed him to shore, where he was taken to Cape Cod Hospital by ambulance. Reflecting on the incident, Packard's sister, Cynthia, expressed her gratitude that it wasn't a shark encounter, a common fear given their frequent sightings in the area. Liz's Experience Liz was visiting, and despite her fears of sharks and the water, she was persuaded to go whale watching. The previous day had been fruitful, with numerous whales spotted, promising an exciting adventure. The morning started calm, with little whale activity until about half an hour in, when they began to see distant whales and two that ventured closer. As Liz became more comfortable, they enjoyed the sight of humpback whales feeding, capturing several breaches on video. The excitement peaked when a bait ball, a dense school of fish, surged under their kayak, bringing the whales closer. In a sudden, unexpected moment, a whale's mouth emerged beneath them, flipping the kayak and pulling Liz into its mouth, followed by her friend. The experience was disorienting, engulfed in darkness and water, with their primary concern being to hold their breath and hope for a quick release. Miraculously, they were soon freed, floating back to the surface with the whale lingering below. A nearby retired fireman rushed to their aid, ensuring they were unharmed. The shock was clear, especially for Liz, who had a terrifying close-up view of the whale's mouth. Despite the ordeal, they managed to return to shore. So if you've soothed your curiosity, give the video a like and share it with your friends, or if you want more, just click on this video and stay on the bright side.